Sean with Face Down here, and we were with two of the guys from Chelsea's Grin. You are? I'm Alex. I sing. I'm Michael. I play guitar. Excellent. And uh, what is the name of this tour that you guys are playing? It's the Welcome to Hell Tour. Welcome to Hell Tour with Whitechapel. Definitely got to check that out. Um, now, I've just got basic ten questions for you guys. Um, now, what's the inspiration behind your band name? Is there a story behind it? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we were kind of, when we were writing our music and whatnot, we were trying to think of a, a good name to have for us, a name that was, like, you know, still, like, metal to fit, like, our sound, but, like, a catchy name, you know, and we, like, we just decided on it, like, we all knew what it meant, and we just, just kind of came down to it last minute, you know. Now, how did it come about getting signed to the Artery Foundation and getting tied with, uh, Razor and Tie, which we did with Jenna a lot? Jenna's our girl. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, they, Mike kind of found us, our manager, and he uh, he does the label too. And uh, we were on a label beforehand, and we were already touring and stuff, and like trying to get out there. And uh, Mike just kind of caught wind of what we were doing, and like picked us up, started talking to us, and just kind of went from there. Now, how how was it recording your full length debut album, uh, Desolation of Eden, at Lambisa Studios, which is owned by Tim Lambisa from As I Lay Dying and Austrian Death Machine? It was good. I mean, it was the first time for us to be in an actual studio, so we were, didn't really know what to expect, you know, and we kind of just went in and did what we were supposed to do, And whereas we just got out of the studio again for a new album, and we were more prepared this time. We were like, we knew exactly what to expect. We knew, like, what to do to make the, you know, make the CD what we wanted it to be, so. And uh, who, who came up with the ideas behind the uh, video sonnet of, of, of The Wretched and uh, Rectory? Well, Sonnet was just a live video, you know, there wasn't much thought put into it other than the fact that we just really wanted a music video. And as far as uh, Recreant goes, we went through the same dude that did our first video, and he kind of kind of threw in the whole story together based upon, like, lyrics and just some other just stuff, just like, you know, just kind of did his thing. Like, we didn't really have much part in the acting, we just showed up and we did the, we did the performance part, because we were actually on tour at the time, so we just, we came through, did the performance part, and we just waited to see the, the actual, like, acting part, and now good I thought. now this next question is actually directed to you, toward you is uh, when you guys were on the uh, thrash and burn tour in Richmond, Virginia you broke your jaw yes. how did that come about and how hard was it to cancel all those shows and why didn't you guys get a substitute well it was it was near the end of thrash and burn anyway there was only a couple shows so like substitute didn't really you know no it was just it was after a show it was late at night we were all just out partying and uh, I just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time and I met my face with a foot, I guess, pretty hard, so, yeah. That's got to definitely suck. Yeah. Um, now, the follow-up to your album, uh, Desolation of uh, Eden, uh, is now being produced by Zeus, who did Shadows Fall, Hatebreed, and Acacia Strain, who will be doing an uh, interview with as well, and it's called My Damnation. Yep. Uh, what's the story behind that new album? What can your fans expect? Um, with this album, it, we... Uh, we did more of like what we like wanted to do whereas like on Desolation of Eden we were trying to like sound like you know the other bands in our genre because you know we were younger and we were just trying to get out in this album it's more of like we we're trying to incorporate like our own like feel to it like so when kids pop the CD and they're like they're like oh yeah this is definitely you know, like, you know, it's just like you know who is this you know like this is White Chapel you know <laughs> Now, uh, besides from getting your job broken, do you have any other crazy fan or tour stories you'd like to share with us? Oh my gosh, yeah. I, there's like too many to like recollect. Uh, almost getting run over right there. <laughs> yeah, there's, yeah, we almost ran over, you know, there's a bunch of crazy people that we come in contact with, and I'm just like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to narrow down to one crazy tour story, but I think tour is all one big crazy story, so. <laughs> And uh, when Desolation of Eden debuted, it uh, made the Billboard Heat Seekers. It made a feature in alternative press, new, you know, newspapers, and many other magazines nationwide. Did you ever think that album would, you know, get that much exposure? I never thought. I always dreamed, but I never thought. You know, I never even thought we'd be where we are right now. Like it's like a whole. It's like just weird to like really take it all in and just imagine like what we were doing a couple years ago when like, like we were in high school and stuff, just like trying to be in a band and like. Now we're like on a national level. It's just weird, you know. It's definitely Feels like it's real. real. <laughs> and um, you guys are labeled as many different genres. What would you consider your, your, your genre? We, we just call ourselves metal. Like there's a whole bunch of different subgenres, and people will kind of classify themselves anyway. But we just keep it simple and just call it metal.
And what does the future hold for you guys? Uh, we know that you got a new album coming out. Any other tours, videos? Uh, what can your fans expect? Um, uh, yeah, we're just we're waiting for the new album to drop. We have a bunch of tours we're like booked all throughout the year, a lot of which we can't even announce yet. But they're going to be some pretty awesome tours. Like we'll be, you know, we'll just be working our ass off just like usual, you know. Definitely thank you guys for taking the time for interviewing with us. And definitely check these guys out. Chelsea's grin, face down out. Thank <laughs> you.